same close formation. And we like to carry that to its extreme. It's just a big flying wing, and it's like almost like a bunch of airplanes, six airplanes all flying in close formation. Although it has a wingspan longer than a Boeing 737, the Pathfinder weighs less than 500 pounds. It's big, but also light, a contradiction in engineering. Paul McCready and Ray Morgan designed this unmanned flying wing to fly very slowly and very high for weeks on end as it studies the Earth's atmosphere. It flew five miles high in its first altitude test, and in future flights, it will climb even higher into the stratosphere. There's an interest in having vehicles that can move around in the stratosphere, the stratosphere above, say, 30 or 40 or 50,000 feet. Uh, the next 50 or 100,000 feet is a mantle, a layer uh, of great importance to the world that in permitting some radiation to come in, screening out other radiation really determines the existence of life on Earth. So you want to be monitoring and doing research that lets you understand what's going on there. This is the, the layer that protects us. Cruising in the middle stratosphere requires about six times the power and speed needed at sea level. As we go higher, uh, the density of the air goes down, and the airplane has to fly faster in order to develop the same amount of lift. Uh, as we go higher and higher, it takes more and more power to fly. And in inter internal combustion powered airplane, uh, this is a big penalty, and this limits the altitude they can fly to. The higher it goes, the less power it has. But the Pathfinder is different. It's powered by the sun. The more the surface that I have that I can cover solar cells, the more power I get, the less surface I have exposed to the air, the less drag I get, and the less structure I have, the less weight I have. It drives you towards something that looks like just a wing. And when the sun goes down, the Pathfinder will keep going and going and going running on solar energy stored in its batteries. While others compete for speed records, McCready and Morgan like going slow. We focus on things that take very little power to fly. Uh, the solar plane, for instance, flies on the power generated by about four average size hair dryers. And we can fly to over 60,000, 70,000 feet on that amount of power. Um, so flying slowly has an advantage and it reduces the amount of power it takes to fly. We have made flying machines that hover like hummingbirds, punch holes in the sky, dance ballet, perform disappearing acts, and surf the waves of the atmosphere. For the pilots, the passion is being in the air, whether gliding at 30 miles per hour or slicing through the sky at three times the speed of sound. That flying is sort of something that gives you an infinite challenge and infinite freedom. It's a great feeling. Flying gives me a chance to, to just go express myself by myself, do it the way I want to do it, and not have to answer to anybody for it. It's almost parallel to the feeling I have when I know a character in acting, and it's on automatic pilot. I don't have to think about it anymore. I just am it. I know what fascinates me about flying is the freedom of it. It's, it's just getting away from the ground, looking down, and you're free of all of that. And sometimes when I'm flying, I think this is the only thing in my life that really makes sense.